Hello and welcome to Deliberate Practice with Jamie and Amy. <laughs> I'm Jamie. I'm a family therapist in Philadelphia and I am part of the Sentio team. And I'm Amy. I am a relational therapist also in Philly um, and also part of the Sentio team. Awesome. And today, the skill that we're going to be focusing on is exploratory questions. And it comes out of the fancy uh, emotion-focused therapy book. Um, it's exercise four, if you're following along in that. Um, exploratory questions. Are we ready to just jump right into exploratory questions? I think so. I haven't done this skill before. Um, so I'm curious to see what it's like. Yeah, same here. So we're going in a little blind, um, but all the better for a learning opportunity. Okay, so now let's go into the skill criteria. All right, so it looks like for exploratory questions, there are five different skill criteria for this exercise. So the first we have questions are non-judgmental. Criteria two, questions focus on and are directed to clients' experiences, including perceptions, feelings, thoughts, and emotions, particularly bodily felt experience. Criteria three, exploratory questions tend to start with how or what rather than why or when. Okay. Criteria four, questions promote open-ended self-exploration and emotional deepening. And criteria five, therapist uses an exploratory discovery-oriented vocal style. Yeah, okay, lot to remember, but let's give it a try. Who uh, will be the therapist today? Who will be the client? I think I will have the honor of being the client and you will have the greater honor of being the therapist. Great. Okay, so I'm therapist for today. Mm -hmm. so we'll jump into some practice. I will read out a client statement from the book. And Jamie, you're gonna, as the therapist, try to respond using the skill of exploratory questions, trying to match these five criteria in your response. Sounds good. Okay. Feeling therapisty? Getting there. <laughs> All righty, ready? Yes. I feel so taken advantage by her, so used. What does, what does being taken advantage of feel like in your body? Mm, nice, I like that. Um, I'll give you some feedback after each response. Yep. Um, so criteria one, that question felt non-judgmental to me. Um, criteria two, I really liked that. How did it feel in my body? Criteria three, tend to start with how or what. Uh, criteria four, questions promote open-ended self-exploration, emotional deepening. I think you did really well at that. Um, getting me to kind of feel into my body of that. And then criteria five, using exploratory discovery oriented vocal style. Um, yeah, I think your tone was um, non-directive, kind of exploratory. Um, so I think that was, I think that met all the criteria. Awesome. Um, I think I can give it a second try and just like make it a little bit, a little bit cleaner. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, 
I feel so taken advantage of by her, so used. And how does it feel when you think about this feeling of feeling used? How is that for you? Um, I think I should have specified like, how does it feel in your body? I think that that was definitely what was missing from the first one. Um, but otherwise, um, that felt, felt pretty good. I felt like I met, met all of the criteria. Yeah. It felt exploratory. It felt non-judgmental and really focused on helping me explore this feeling of being used. Yeah. Great. Great job. Ready to move on to another one? Yes. My boyfriend has been so unfaithful. I just can't love my, I can't let myself love him anymore. He cheated on me again this weekend. I need to stop loving him. Hmm. And what, what kind of um, physical feelings come up for you when you say that you need to stop loving him. Mm. Yeah, that was great. I, I feel, I, as the client, I'm like, I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm glad because I was really, um, I felt like I was feeling that with you. Um, very, like very viscerally, very in my body. Um, and I think that that, me accessing that was able to kind of, um, be conveyed to you in a way that you could kind of deepen and explore a little bit more. Amy, do you think we could take a look at the example response for this one? I'm curious as to what that, um, what the book has for that. That's a great idea. So this is the example response that the book gives us. Um, mm -hmm. So it says, it's so hard for you to stop loving him. What do you feel you are getting from this relationship that makes it so hard to give up? Mm -hmm. What do you feel you're getting from this relationship that makes it so hard to give up? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> My father was in the army and he taught me that only weak people have feelings. What is... Can you, what does, um, what does weak mean? What do you think your, your father meant when he said um, weak people have feelings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So let's check the criteria. And that was a great example of when a client says something that can catch a therapist off guard and cause a therapist to have their own internal reaction. Because I'm sure it was pretty clear in that video that I was just like, oh, oh my, okay. Um, so I just wanted like to name that, that that's a very, uh, that that is certainly not uncommon for a client to say something that causes some sort of internal reaction within the therapist. All the, all the more comforting to have this criteria for me to lean into when I may have one of those like, oh, crap moments. So criteria one, questions are non-judgmental. Um, yeah, I didn't feel judged. Uh, I think I felt some of your like trepidation coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, criteria two, questions focus on um, client's experience. Um, yeah. What do you think for that one? Uh, no, I think I was more focused on, well, m maybe, I mean, I guess I was focused on their interpretation of their father's words, but I was more, it almost felt like I was more focused on the, like the father's perspective. I could have made it more about the clients. Like I could have changed my language a little bit to focus more on the client's experience of, of how it felt for, how it feels for them to hear that from 
their father. Okay, so criteria two, we could work on. Mm -hmm. uh, criteria three, questions start to tend with, <laughs> tend to start with how or what. Uh, I think you got that one. I think. Um, criteria four, questions promote open-ended self-exploration and emotional deepening. I think, I think ish, I think you can like work on that one, but I, I see where you were going with like exploring the meaning of weakness. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then five, uh, exploratory tone. Um, yeah, I think that like uh, this, this one was hard and I think you were finding your way, which makes total sense. Um, so I don't know that you super met five, but I think you could work that that'll come as you practice. Yeah. I would definitely like to give that one another go. <laughs> <clears throat> My father was in the army and he taught me that only weak people have feelings. And how does it feel for you when you hear your father say that only weak people have feelings? Mm, I like that. I, good job. That felt better and different than the first one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your practice. That one was hard. It was. Could we actually check the example response for that one too? I'm curious, just before we wrap it up today. So hmm, the example response the book gives is, what do you feel inside when you tell me the story of your father being in the army right now? Mm -hmm. So that was really similar to yours, yes. right? Like mm -hmm. what, what do you, when you hear your father? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing one of the big differences being like, I was focused more on like a past experience. You know, how does, how, like, has it felt in the past when your, your father says this to you? And this example was very much in the here and the now, how are you feeling? Um, but that was very, very helpful to kind of just think about um, the different ways we can talk about this like physical felt experience. Mm -hmm. The other thing I like about this is its focus on like open-ended self-exploration. Cause you could see like asking these questions deepen it and make the client think, okay, what did I feel? How did this impact me? Instead of a question that would be like, why do you think your dad said that? Or mm -hmm. does your family have a history of being in the army or whatever? Like mm -hmm. that would be so much shorter and more maybe cognitive or like information gathering versus like, how do you feel when your father says that? That's so much more opening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I appreciate you sharing that kind of just as the client in that, just what that experience was like for you and that you felt like some space was opened by the question that I asked. And maybe you didn't have an answer right away. And that's kind of part of this exploratory process is it's likely that the client won't have an answer right away because this is involving some, you know, internal exploring that they're going to be do, doing. And that's just kind of, yeah, part of, part of this, um, this exercise. Well done. That was not easy. No, it was not. Um, especially again, meeting all of those criteria, um, definitely tricky, but very, very valuable. I, even just from the brief practice that we've just done, I feel much more comfortable with this activity, um, with this particular skill. Um, and it's always nice when we do this because then um, just in my own practice, I'm way more likely to think about this in the sessions that I have later this week because it's gonna be fresh. Um, and I'm looking forward to using this with my families and my clients. Thanks everyone for checking out another deliberate practice with Jamie. And Amy. <laughs> <laughs>